90 day run is live. So today we're going to have something special. We're going to be able to, you're going to be able to ask me anything you want about network marketing, about the industry. I'm going to answer those questions for you. So you can pick my brain. You can run things by me. I'm here to help you guys. So let's wait till we get some traffic on uh, the 90 day run live right now through Facebook. So let's wait for people to get on. Let's see where they're from. See how you guys are doing today, how your 90 day runs are going. So here we go. Let's just give it a minute, guys. Give it a minute. What up, Jerry? Good to see you, brother. Just waiting for some more to get on. All right, so today you guys get to pick my brain. What's up, Monica? How are you? You guys get to pick my brain. You can ask me anything. You can walk me through any scenario. Uh, I want to try to help you guys out, okay? So you can ask me any questions pertaining to network marketing, marketing period, building your business, prospecting, all those types of things. I'd love to help you guys. All right, so let's wait for people to get on. Let's wait for some more to jump on. I want to see where people are jumping in from, where people are tuning in from. Feel free to share your company name. Uh, feel free to share where you guys are from, your city and state where you guys are tuning in from, even your country. Right? We're not doing uh, we're not doing Instagram Live today just because of a location difference today. So, um, you know, usually we can we can tune in on both, but let's just see. So, if any of you guys. Right away, since we're, we've already gotten started here. If any of you guys have any questions for me today, go ahead and feel free to ask me. I'd love to answer those. I'll showcase those right on the screen for you guys to see, and then I'll, I'll run with that, okay? What's up, Shani? How are you? Good to see you guys. So any questions you guys have for me today, ask me anything, all right? I'll see your questions over here on the on the, in the chat group, and I'll post it straight onto the BeLive platform so you guys can see the questions as I answer them, okay? And as soon as, I'm a as soon as I'm answering a question, just hold your questions until I'm done and then go ahead and post it so that way we don't lose it in the feed, guys. All right? SoCal in the house, good. We got New York, Southern California. We got Delaware. All right. Any of you guys have any questions for me today? Hope you guys have an amazing Monday morning, Monday afternoon, wherever you are. I know we have a time difference now since all the clocks were sprung forward, right? Poor spring. All right, any questions you guys have? Seems like you guys already know what you're doing, right? Hopefully you guys are running. You guys are using the uh, the activity uh, tracker. Hopefully you guys are using it for yourself, regardless if you have teams or not. Hopefully you guys are holding yourselves accountable. You guys are writing down your activities. You guys are really planning in your calendars uh, what you need to do to really have success. Like I said, you should be prospecting every single week. On the weekends, during the weekdays, you should be figuring out how to meet more people. During the months, you should be planning on how to network on purpose, like setting up your own, uh, you know, your own uh, personal development seminars, like uh, signing up for them, paying for them, enrolling in them, registering for them. You guys should be meeting new people. You guys should be figuring out how to put, uh, market your business out in the public, in the market. Um, you guys should just be figuring out how to get around new people, starting new conversations, right? And if you don't know how to start a conversation, you need to figure it out, right? It's just through normal conversations that you find out what people do for a living, whether they love what they do, whether they hate what they do, whether they're looking for something more. If you have products or services, you're able to find out whether they need your product or service so you can in inject that into the conversation. It's through conversation and through listening more that you're going to be able to share your business with people. Um, what are you doing uh, as far as online marketing? What are you doing as far as a local marketing, right? Um, even if it's not online, whether it's in your newspaper, in your magazines, what are you doing uh, to sponsor uh, local events with your company's name or with your name? Uh, what are you doing to get your name out there in the public? Are you are you volunteering for charities? Like, how are you meeting new people? If you don't have an answer to that, you aren't networking. You aren't a network marketer at all, right? You're just doing something for fun. You're doing something on the side, uh, and you're not going to really make any money. If you want to make money in network marketing and direct sales, in sales period, in affiliate marketing, uh, you got to go out there and meet people. You got to go make friends. You got to go invest in yourself, invest in your business, so you can get your name out there. There's no business owner outside of your house in the local community that isn't having to spend money on marketing, that isn't figuring out ways to meet new people, that isn't figuring out ways to go mingle and network in, with, with social organizations or social groups, that isn't out there fundraising or doing anything to, to, to raise money, to raise awareness in the community, to meet new people and make new friends. Like You gotta be doing these types of things if you wanna be successful. Most people in network marketing, when they get started, they get started and they build this small team and uh, what happens is they depend on that team to take them everywhere in this company, right? They build for a year, they build for a year and a half, but then they stop building. They stop doing what got them there in the first place. They rely on what got them to where they are now to get them to where they're going. And that's going to be, that's, that's completely false. Your business is built after that initial team you've built, 
after that initial group you got started, your business starts after all of them. Okay, they're going to teach you how to do the business. You're going to get a lot of practice. You're going to get. You're going to learn from all your trials and tribulations. You're going to learn from practicing. But your business starts when you get out there and start. Your business starts when you get out there and start meeting new people. All right, that's what I want you guys to know. Right. So let's see. Do you guys have any questions for me? Share your questions in the chat. I'm going to showcase them right here on the screen. I'm going to answer those for you. Remember. There is no bad question. There is no dumb question. There is no stupid question. Your questions will help everybody that gets on live here on the Facebook groups. And if you don't have questions, then you're not trying to win, right? The reason why I'm successful is because I asked more questions than everybody when I started this business. I asked all the successful people the right questions, okay? I didn't just ask questions to ask questions. I meant I asked them the right questions. So let's see if you guys have any questions here. All right, Shinny Lao says, I uh, am a network for a while, but it seems the results are not great, right? So I don't know how long a while is, right? And that's the thing. I have people that say, hey, I've been doing network marketing for three months now. I've been doing network marketing for this long now, and I haven't had the results I want. But the reality is it's not about how long you've been doing network marketing. It's how much time you put into it. You know, there are people that do have been doing network marketing on my own team for two or three years. But the reality is how much time they've actually put into it is probably two or three weeks, right? They haven't put any time into it. They go to all the events. They jump on all the webinars. They go to all the seminars. They do all those things, but they never applied themselves in networking on purpose. They never went out and met people. They don't spend time during the week prospecting or moving people from exposure to exposure. They don't spend time following up with people. They don't spend time enrolling people. They don't spend time getting new customers. They spend all their time in all the busy work, but not, none of the productive work. And I'm just telling you the truth. Of course, they don't get results. I've had people in my business for 10 years that still don't get the results because they don't do anything. They know it all. They say all the things that, that are right. They, 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 they talk the talk, but they don't really walk the walk. So I'm just telling you, if you want results, you have to go out there and get it. And you have to change yourself too, okay? If you aren't getting the results that you, you want and you've been putting in the work, you have to change the things that you're doing or else you're going to go crazy, okay? You have to read more books. You have to listen more. You have to be around more successful people. You have to go to more personal development seminars. You have to change your mindset. You have to start speaking differently. You have to be a different person later than you are right now not getting anybody because the person you become later is going to be the person that attracts all the people you guys so it's just about applying yourself and putting in the work but doing the income producing activities that's going to get you the successful results and when people tell me about the the success they're not having i always ask them to show me their calendar and almost 99 percent of the time when i look in those calendars there's nothing going on in there there are no income generating activities in there there's really a lot of empty space in there you know, besides them doing their own life with their family and with their kids and their, at their own job, there is really no nothing that's going on in there that has to do with having productive results in network marketing. So you got to change some of those things. All right. Let's see here. Let's see, look for another question real quick. Hey, what is your favorite income generating activity? Okay, that would be prospecting for me. That would be going out there, meeting new people. Every chance I get an opportunity to be around people, I'm going to go. If my brother's going somewhere where I know he's going to be around people, I go with him. If I'm going to go somewhere with my wife and she's she's going somewhere with her friends, or and, and, and you know they got their husbands around or whatever, and we're going to go out to a big dinner date. I'm going to go out with them because I'm going to meet make new friends. I'm going to meet new people. Like my favorite income generating activity is networking, like meeting new people, uh, speaking to new people. I'm trying to build relationships in depth so I can share my business or my products with them. I can inject that in the conversation. It might not be that very first time, but that first time is going to invite me to hang out with them another time. And then a third time and a fourth time. It's always prospecting, moving people into my pipeline, right? Moving people into my pipeline. Not When I put people in the pipeline, it's not about like enrolling them. It's they're in the pipeline. They're, 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 they're moving from warm. They're moving from cold to warm to hot. And that's what it's about. And really, the, the, the temperature change from cold to being becoming a hot prospect is just exposures, right? It's conversations that lead to me sharing a video, that lead to me getting them on a webinar, that lead to me meeting with them one-on-one, -on -one, that lead to me inviting them to an event, that lead to me signing them up. That's what it's about. So my favorite income gener generating activity is prospecting, prospecting, prospecting until I get the enrollment. And I know it's going to take three to five prospects to get the enrollment, but it's about meeting new people. So I'm always looking for opportunities to grow and meet new people. That's it. Without prospects, you can't build a business. That's the truth, right? You can you can go to all the events, you can jump on all the webinars, you can get on all the phone calls, you can go, you can be around all the successful people. But if you don't have prospects in your pipeline, if you aren't out there looking for and meeting new people to get as customers or as merchandisers, distributors, affiliates, you're never gonna have success at all. Ever. So that's it. Let's see what else, guys. Hmm. Let's see here. 
Christy. All right. Christy Brass says, what kind of network marketing events outside of, of your company do you recommend? I recommend not just network marketing events, but personal development seminars. How about Tony Robbins? How about Grant Cardone? You know, I mean, there are so many people out there. There are great events. My friend Cole Hatter throws an event in Las Vegas every month called uh, every year called Thrive and has some of the top speakers, Eric Thomas. I mean, any any uh, event with Eric Worry, networkmarketingpro.com, uh, you can go there. You know, he's doing a free event here in Los Angeles in a week or two. I mean, there are many events that you can go to. You, you, have, you have the the um, the the North American uh, network mark network marketing event. Like you have all these inc incredible network marketing events all year. Like go and look them up, Google them, search them, uh, go register for them, go there, make new friends, meet new people. You might even meet friends in the network marketing business that one day their company goes out of business, but because you built that relationship with them, they're going to come to you and say, Hey, can I get started with you? I'm just telling you, like it's about building relationships, building meaningful relationships. I'm telling you there are events everywhere that you can become a part of. And when you go to events, you meet people. That's the biggest thing. You make friends. Those people can become part of your business one day. Those people can benefit your business one day. They could, they're making friends of those events could be uh, maybe people that you do business with that help improve your business. So it's just networking, 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 growing that network, growing that circle of successful, smart, influential people around you because you, you become uh, you become a, a, a part of the people you hang around most, okay? You start speaking like them, start acting like them, start believing like them, start having conviction like them. I'm just telling you, like, people love people that are growing. And when your friends and people around you see you growing, they want to be a part of whatever you're doing. Let's see, what uh, what other questions here? All right, here we go. Good one, Jerry. Why do you think people give up in their business when prospects tell them no? It's just a personal thing. It, it, it starts to break down that belief barrier in your head when people tell you tell, tell them no. Most people have unrealistic expectations. Nobody sets them up for success, you know? Um, for instance, you know, I know that in, in any business you're gonna get no's and you have to know that you have to just be set up to understand that so you have realistic expectations, right? Most people, their expectations are this. I'm gonna sign up in network marketing, I'm gonna get rich quick. I'm gonna go talk to five people and five are gonna enroll with me. If that doesn't happen, I quit, it doesn't work, the company sucks, right? They're completely wrong when they think that way. How you have to take any type of business is this is signing up in a network marketing company, signing up in a direct sales company, starting your own business, starting your own franchise. You're going to have the same exact of uh, things that you're going to have to go through. You're going to have you have to have all the same expectations. Most people don't want what you've got, but some do. OK, and you have to understand that in order to get the yeses, you got to get through the nos. And you have to understand there are more people that aren't interested than are interested. And if you understand that, you're never going to have unrealistic expectations. You're gonna, never going to set yourself up to fail. You're going to understand that in order to get to the top of the mountain, I have to go through all of the shitty weather first. OK, I have to go through the nos. I have to go through the people who are skeptical. I have to go through the people that are negative in order to get the person who's positive, that's open minded, that wants what I have. And that's what you have to understand. I know, I understand the numbers. I understand that, that you know, out of every three to five people, for some of you, five to 10, for some of you, 10 to 15, if you're just getting started, people that you talk to or that I talk to are not gonna get interested, but out of every three to five people I speak to, one is. So I, what, was, what are my expectations? If I wanna get three people to wanna join me, I gotta go speak to nine to 15 people. I understand that, so I start setting up my calendar that way. I start booking appointments that way. I start networking more on purpose that way to meet more people, to put them through the pipeline, because I need nine to 15 in order to get my three. And that, that's the point of it. And even when you start enrolling people, even when you get prospects that tell you yes, it's not over yet, because out of every one, out of every 10 prospects that tell you yes, one is gonna really treat it like a business. Three or four will are in business with you. They're going through the motions. It takes them a while to learn, but half of them will be gone within 90 days. So there are more expectations that you have to understand later. And if you don't, you're gonna have even more unrealistic expectations that are gonna make you quit even quicker. So the thing is, is that why people give up in their business when prospects tell them no is because they weren't set up for success. They had unrealistic expectations. They're not treating it like a business. They're treating it like a lottery ticket and they're gonna always let themselves down. They're always gonna think it doesn't work. They're always gonna give up. But the funny thing is, is what I tell people, most people that give up is that you can't quit something you haven't started yet, okay? So they never gave up. They never even started. There's no way to give up, you know, right? Before they even went through the front door, they already they already turned around and walked away. So the thing is, you can't quit something you haven't started, right? Show me something. Show me somebody who gets through no's. Show me somebody who talks to more and more people. Show me somebody who gets rejected constantly in order to get accepted. And then I'll tell you if they're. I'll tell. I'll show you someone who who gives up. I'm just telling you the truth. Is that, you know, people have to understand that. Um, People have to understand that this isn't a fairy tale 
when you sign up in network marketing. This isn't like a a, a movie that's just gonna give you a happy ending right away. You know, this is this is actually real life and it's real business, but people treat it like a lottery ticket because they're so cheap to get started, right? They don't treat it like the five hundred thousand dollar brick and mortar business their friend had just invested in a couple of years ago. They don't treat it like the two hundred thousand dollar franchise their friend invested in last year. Right. Those people are at their job, at that business place of business every single day, working all hours a day. They're sacrificing all the time away from their family because why they want to get that initial investment back in their first three to five years so they can finally start profiting in network marketing because the business opportunity is a hundred to a couple thousand bucks. Right. People treat it like a, a lottery ticket. And if they don't have success in three or four days, they're like, whatever, I've lost that quicker in the blackjack table. I lost that last Friday night when I was at the bar drinking, watching the Laker game. Like, it doesn't matter to me. This doesn't work. No, you have to still put in the time like all those other people did who invested way more than you. You have to put in the days. You have to put in the, you have to sacrifice from your family. You have to, you, you, when you make that initial investment back your first couple months, you got to reinvest it back into your business and reinvest it back into your business and reinvest it back into your business and reinvest it back in your business for three to five years, just like the other people do right? Until you've built a team, until you can stand on your own two feet, until your business starts duplicating itself, whether you're, you're building it or not, right? It's all those things. This is real life. This is a real business. This isn't a lottery ticket, right? You have to treat it like a professional. You can't treat it like an amateur. You have to go out there and you have to constantly work on yourself. You have to constantly develop your skill sets. You have to constantly practice. You have to constantly go out there and get and fail and fail and fail, but fail forward. You learn how to do things right by all your failures. You don't fail and fail and fail and fail and keep doing the same thing. You change it up. You change directions until you find the things that are working. You say, this works, this works. And you start, then you start figuring out people. You start figuring out, uh, uh, you know, personality types and, 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 and the best way to get them involved in your business, the best way to get them signed up, the best way to get them signed to say yes. And you only do that through practicing, through, through going through pe more people and more people and more people and more people. You're going to start learning all the different personality types and you're going to figure out how they get started, how these types of people get started and how those types of people get started. But you'll never know that unless you do it. Right. And it's going to take a lot of people to understand that this is a business. If you put your 10,000 hours in, you will become a professional. Right. But you have to really keep track of your hours. You have to really log those hours. You have to really make sure that you're putting in those hours. Remember, busy work does not count. Right. Productive works count. Income generating activities count. Those are the that's the time that 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 you put in that equals professional results that equals that inc those incredible amounts of income that successful people are making in this industry. When I started, I was just like you. I was the person making nothing. I was a person saying, can it really be me one day? Can I really make that kind of money one day? Can I end up like her? Can I end up like him? No one could give me that answer. Everyone's going to tell me yes. But at the end of the day, if it is to be, it's up to me. I had to put in the work. I had to go through the failures. I had to rebuild my business over and over again. I had to go through uh, the, the turmoil of watching people quit and getting discouraged and thinking that was my best person and now she's gone or that was my best person. Now he's gone. Look at this person in my upline just left to another company and they're taking my people with them. Like, But I stayed and I rebuilt and I rebuilt and I believed in my company. I mean, those are the things that you have to experience in order to have success, right? You're going to have to experience like making an incredible income and getting bonuses and saying, man, now I got to put it back into my business. I wanted to like finally pay off my credit cards. I finally wanted to do this. You can do those things later or you can do them now. You just want to decide how far you want to go in this business. I'm just telling you, you got to go through these things. You're going to go through all the problems, you know, with 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 things going wrong in your company or with uh, with with the the corporate team, and, and you got to realize that hey, I can't worry about those things. I got to focus on my team. And you always got you got to start becoming the leader that is always about solutions. There are never problems, right? There are people that see everything as a problem, and it's it's as a roadblock. And if there are things that people will see as something that will paralyze them in this business and it will stop them forever. And then there are people that see problems and say, I'm going to figure out a solution. There's another problem. I'm going to figure out a solution. Like I'm going to go over and around those, those obstacles, right? I'm not going to let them stop me. I'm going to push right through them. So th that's another, that's another stage of leadership you have to understand and you have to go through and you're not going to have success until you go through all the different stages of leadership. You have to first start as a student, right? You have to absorb all the information. You have to be like a sponge. You have to learn everything you can to build that belief system inside yourself to have those realistic uh, expectations, to understand what it's gonna take to get to the top of the mountain. And then you gotta go through the stage of being an action taker, right? The person that just takes action and takes action and takes action, applies everything they learn, invests in themselves, grows as a person, reads the books, participates, gets involved, does all that productive work, those income generating activities because you spent so much, so long as a student, now it's the time to take action and inspire those people around you, inspire all those, those other people that said yes to your business that are watching you and they want to see you lead by example, winning and succeeding, winning the trips, winning the promotions, getting the bonuses, earning the, the money every single week, paying off the credit cards, making the car payment, doing those things so you can inspire them to duplicate what you're doing and now you're a real leader and those are the things, okay?
So let's see what other questions you have. Let's see here. Let's just, let's just push up uh, Michelle's uh, question right here, right? She says, I think people to get discouraged when someone else gets to the top very quickly. That is not the norm. This is a business that will grow with hard work and time. This is long-term freedom if you work hard and cultivate. Calvin, you are inspiring. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. I appreciate you. But you're right. Most people compare themselves to the person sitting right next to them or they compare to them, the person standing on the stage. But the reality is, is you don't know what it took for them to get there. You don't know what their story is. You don't know how much experience they had before they said yes to network marketing. You don't know what their network is and how they spent time growing that. You don't know if they've owned a, another business before and they understand how businesses are built. You don't understand that. Everybody starts from where they are, not from where they aren't. They don't start at the same, the same situation. So you can never compare yourself. All you can do is work on yourself, okay? Because every single person is different, right? When I first started network marketing, I became the youngest millionaire in my company my first eight months. And people said, how'd you do it so fast? You did it in only eight months. And I said, no, I've been working on this since I was eight years old, right? Before you even had your first job, right? I was I was out mowing lawns and washing cars and knocking on doors. And I was freaking making money to bring home to my mom to pay the bills, right? You were, you were being a kid outside playing on the football fields, on the baseball diamonds, right? You were going through school doing your homework. And, and then you had to go to high school. When you were in high school, you still didn't have to do anything most, most likely. And your parents were taking care of you. You can go to, you had a nice bed, to, warm bed to sleep in at night. Your mom woke you up in the morning and told you to go to school. You had fun at your practice after school. And then got to go back home and do your homework, get a nice meal and go to sleep. I was working three jobs a day to pay for my high school. I was taking the bus to the train, to the bus, running to my first job, starting at four o'clock in the morning. And then I didn't get home till, you know, man, till probably midnight, you know, and I had to try to catch the last train home at 11 p.m. to get three or four hours of sleep to wake up early to make my lunch and do it all over again. Like I've been working on becoming a millionaire since I was a kid, right? My work ethic grew. I, I, I developed that work muscle that most people don't start even developing until they're 22 years old, 23 years old. I mean, the, the later, the more technology helps us in our favor today, the, the, the longer kids are going to be living at home, not doing anything. So I'm just telling you, like, I feel sorry for the next generation because there's no work ethic, you know, in that generation yet that I see at least. So I'm just telling you, like, you can't compare yourself to anybody else. As soon as you start developing that work muscles when you're when it starts for you. OK, it might take you three or four or five years to, in order to reach the top in, in, your, in your company when someone else took a year. OK, but that's your story. What else are you going to be doing for the next three to five years that's going to get you to where you can get in this in this type of business? There isn't any. So you have to really just pay attention to your own story and, and write your own story, write your own chapters and get to work so you can have success. But don't compare yourself to anybody else. See what else. All right. Some of these questions are actually really, really simple. All right. Because says, I'm from Nepal and it's a big opportunity for network marketing. How can I build the business? Okay, read the book GoPro and go to work. Go out and network, talk to people, build belief in three areas, okay? Your products, your company, and the industry. How do you do that? Go to your company's website, Re learn everything you can about how the company got started, the owners, their story. Learn about your products, what makes them unique, and then learn about your industry. Go to networkmarketingpro.com and listen to all the stories of successful people. Watch their stories, go watch their videos and get inspired because they're going to tell you the true ingredients it took for them to become successful and how this business can change their lives. Okay, build your belief in your product, in your company, and in the, in the industry, and then go to work. All right, let's see here. Awesome. Here we go. How, you, how do you organize your time when everything is important? Kids, family, school, relationships, and so on. Trust me, there's enough time in every day to do all of it. OK, excuses get you beat. I'm just telling you, you know, that there, there's enough time. When I started my network marketing business, you know, I ran another company at the same time. I had to go to my office every morning at six o'clock to open the doors and I had to close every evening at five o'clock. But you know what I did with my with my evening time? I went home, had dinner, made sure everything was OK with the kids and the family. And then I went out when everybody was about to get ready to, you know, to just settle down for the night. And I sacrificed my eight o'clock to eleven o'clock at night to go meet people every evening. All right, and go talk to them and share my business. I have friends in Egypt building a business, and you know when their meetings start? When their family goes to sleep. That's when all they all meet at a coffee shop at 10 o'clock. They have meetings at 10, 11, 12, 1, 2 in the morning, and then they're done. That's when they build their business. There's 24 hours in a day. You can have a family of 10. It doesn't matter. You can have a full-time job. It doesn't matter, okay? I mean, you can, you can coach a sports team. It doesn't matter, which I've, which I've done and I do. I'm just telling you, like, you can do all those things and still build your network marketing business. Open up your calendar. And get start 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 at seven in the morning and, and 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 then look all the way until right midnight. 
right? And look at all that open time you have. Put in there the time with your kids. You're taking the school. You're picking them up. Put doctor's appointments in there. Put the time you have to go to work if you have a job. Put the time you want to cook dinner. You know all those and all those things. And then look at all that free space and fill it in for your business. I'm just telling you that. Ask for help. Don't be afraid. Ask your family for help. Ask your friends for help. Get help from your husband. Get help from your wife. Right? If, if you know, if not, find the times that you can sacrifice. Put all the time. And if it's the weekends and you can only work Saturdays and Sundays, work all Saturday and all Sunday. I've done that too. I'm just telling you, don't let excuses get in the way. Look for the free time and build it. This is 2020. You can build your business from your computer. You can build your business from your cell phone. You don't have to go out and meet people if you don't want to. If you can, you can build it even bigger. But I'm just telling you that there are a million hours in the day. There are a million opportunities in a day that you can go build your network marketing business. Don't let the fact that you have a family stop you, that you have a job stop you, that you have kids stop you, that you have a medical condition stop you. You can build it anywhere from any device. I'm just telling you, you can go out in the world and talk to people. You, you guys can do it. I'm just telling you that don't let any excuses get in the way, okay? There are people that, that let those things become the excuses that stop them, and then there are people that let those things become the excuses that get them going. I need to do it for them. I need to do it for her. I need to do it for him. That's the reason I'm going to go. And then there are people that say, I can't because of him. I can't because of her. I can't because of them. That's why I can't, right? So shift your mindset. Have an I can mentality. Have an abundance mentality and go out there and make it happen. Right, All right, you guys. So let's answer a couple more questions. Look at Jerry Adams right here. He says, uh, automating your business gives you extra time for those things. 80-20 rule, right? Jerry talks about automating, right? Online uh, marketing, how to market your business online, have auto automatic email generators, have a landing page, have a you know, have a have a way to generate leads and just have an automatic system send out a link to a to a video that sends out a link to a webinar that sends out a link to a join page. Like you might not even know how to do that. Go figure it out. You can figure it out. There are many classes you could take on Facebook, on, on YouTube, uh, out in the real world that you can learn how to do these things, how to automate your business, right? Jerry's a guy on my team who's brand new, but he's showing everybody how he does that. There are a million different ways to build a business and you can build a team of people doing them all different ways, not just one way, but you can learn from those people who are succeeding. There's, there's, a, there's a million ways to, to get rich in this business. I'm telling you guys that you got to figure it out, right? Marketing online, uh, sponsoring ads, sponsoring posts. But you can do it the, 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 the old-fashioned way too, face-to-face -face business. Go out there and meet people, network on purpose, which is a lot of the way that I talk and I build my business. But in today's world, there are so many people that are, can do it even quicker, that have these shortcuts that, that uh, can, can generate leads, that can generate prospects, that where people are online literally looking for a home-based business every single day. How are you going to get to those people? Have you even tried yet? You can go out and figure it out, right? Awesome, Jerry. Thanks, brother. All right, guys. So I hope that I, I don't want to spend too much of your time. That was 30 minutes of just me answering questions. So I hope that I was able to give you guys some nuggets today that you could take home, that you can go out and share with your team. Share this video. So all I ask you to do is share this video on your Facebook pages once it's done. Um, you know, give me a fat number 10 if you learned at least one good valuable tip today or you had one light bulb or one nugget just hit you today that you could say, man, okay, that just motivated me to start my Monday. I'm going to have a great week, right? Give me a fat number 10 in the comments uh, section if you got something today that you can take home, that you can run with, that you can share with your team. And make sure you guys share this with people. I will see you guys again on Thursday, same time, different place actually, but here on Facebook Live, uh, on Be Live, and I'll have some, some good content for you. It'll be a planned content session for you guys. But again, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for all uh, supporting the 90 Day Run. And if you don't, aren't part of the 90 Day Run, go to the 90dayrun.com and register on there. So you can get all my emails. You can get all the videos when these are done, all the tips of the day. Um, you can get all the tools for free, but you'll also be um, every year getting this 90 Day Run uh, communication sent. You know, So make sure you're registered. Make sure your teammates get registered. They'll get everything on here. Every, every year I'll come out with some new tools for you guys. Hopefully in the future we'll have some 90 Day Run calendars you guys can work from. But I know you can, there's a downloadable version on the website. But again, Appreciate you guys' time. Go out and get it, guys. It's a 90-day run. Go out and run, guys. Take action. Income generating activities. That's what you should be focused on. Be productive, not busy, guys. I wish you guys the best. Have a great rest of your Monday afternoon. See ya.